aggressive, so to speak. Few shotguns and unfortunately he gets taken down by SG Austin X. And that is the end of Devil's Game. Serif goes down by Destro. They were focusing on one angle and that was the mistake they made. Let's see what Aman is going to do. Aman under a lot of pressure right now. This is a good time for SG to push up on Seoul and finish the job. And Aman gets knocked down as well. Too many angles to cover. That leaves Soul Slayer as the last remaining member from Team Velocity. Let's see what happens over here. Is he going to go for a clutch or is he going to make the decision to fight another day? A lot of pressure on Soul Slayer. Unfortunately, they are not going to make it to the last uh, top three as a whole team, which you never know. Slayer has it in him. Let's quickly shift or some suppressive fire over here. Jughead is down. Let's have a look if he's going to be in a position to get revived. He should be. Yash and Original are trying to flank from the left. Jughead should be in a position to get picked up. Swat Deepak, unfortunately, just got knocked out. And here comes Fox. Is he going to be pushing forward and trying to startle the enemy? Original is keeping the left flank right over here. Yash goes out. With a grenade, I assume. Or could that be smoke? That should be smoke. I think they want to pick up their teammate Deepak. It is. But the thing is, Fox is going to use that smoke to his advantage. He goes out. The pit fire over here. And Yash goes down, leaving Original as the last guy standing from Team SWAT. He has a lot of pressure on him. He goes in. He takes a fight with Oro. And unfortunately, Oro comes out on top. He did go prone and shoot at him. And that is the end of SWAT's debut. Going to bleed out over here. Elsewhere, I see Frost is in a fight. Let's quickly switch over to them. Onik has engaged with Frost. Both teams have lost a member so far. Knocked. Bhagwan is knocked. Frost and Blaze are pushing up on Sky. Blaze goes down. And Nick is going to be going in on the offensive. He knows the enemy is above him. Let's grab over there. Fight at the stairs. And both have lost some health. Some good shots collected over there. However, he, Onik does have backup with Soul. Unfortunately, does not. Soul does go out. He jumps down. Frost almost getting that knock on Sky. But Sky did a jump out and a really flashy kill over there. In time to get out of the way. King Am. In for the push. He almost gets shot over there. He goes in. Avoids the pretty them. Gunfight breaking out. Andrew versus Onik. And Maxton comes in from assistance. Nick gets taken down. And Shari comes in. Finishes the job. Beautiful bit of teamwork over here by ES. And they come out on top with that squad wipe. Right away. Molotov does come out. Red Lemon is aware of the fact that uh, Fayaz is over here. Let's see what these boys are planning. Currently surrounded. Fayaz takes down the coach. A lot of pressure on Red Lemon. Trying to go for some free fire. I think this is when Team 9 is going to push in. And they do. Avistar is in. Barely missing his shots. The pressure is going to be immense. And unfortunately, Red Lemon does get taken down. And just as I said that, his teammates took down the last remaining member, Sawmill. Down the zone, he is patching himself up. He has a few hundred meters to go. He just has two bandages. I want to find out if he's going to make it. And I think he will make it, but he's not going to have enough medicines. And boom! With the last 5 HP remaining, he does make it in. Let's quickly see the fight away. Oxy fatal with some shots on Victim. Taking him down. Victim has lost two members right now. Fatal is the last guy standing. His teammate Oxy Lord is down. And he's in a very bad position. Bandy with some pressure on Oxy Fatal. Fatal has to be careful as to not expose his back because you do have the enemy all around. But right now it's a one on one situation between Banyu and Fatal. Fatal passes himself up. I think he's going to go on the offensive. Let's have a look at what he sees from his point of view. Banyu going in for the revive. And he shoots. Fatal lets out a few shots. Takes out that AUG. Beautiful switch. And he manages to get that kill. And Oxy Lord should be picked up. I think that Mark 14 was on single. Big Amtu with some SK shots on Aura. He is trying to get a few knocks over here. Viper goes down. Maxton goes down. Payne Destro with some uh, wonderful shots. However, he went prone. Soul Slayer with the kill over here. He is not going to back out. Soul Slayer gets another kill. He is Maxton. Goes out. This means we have five teams remaining. A lot of people are single. And we have Team 22 in, the, in a fight with Team 9. They are pushing in. They are going a bit aggressive. Hands with some shots on Fayaz. Fayaz goes down. Hand lucky to be alive. He does get taken down by Seal. I believe that was Seal with some shots from up top. And Avistar is probably going to be picking up his teammate right about now. 
Seal walks. OP is going to be making his way into the zone. Soul Slayer is actually in a very good position. Like I said at the starting of this match, do not count this boy out. This guy is going to get it done. He has made it to the final circles. And Bunny is out. I think Team 9 is going to pick up uh, Fayaz. Slayer getting much needed meds. Looting the crates. Taking his way around. Brilliant bit of work over here. Three teams remaining. We have Soul, we have Team Bai, and we have Aura. Fayaz is in a bit of trouble over here. Those nades exploding all around. Avastar is going out. Let's have a look at the team. That M466 spray on point. They are going in for the kill. Is Fayaz going to pull out a victory over here? He does come out firing, does get a knock on Jaden. However, he gets taken down by hands. And Soul Slayer with some fire. It's a one on one situation over here, guys. Two people knocked out from Aura. This is brilliant. Slayer going for that low lob grenade. If this connects, this is going to be a brilliant, brilliant display by the Team Velocity member over here. The grenade's just a little out of uh, range, not doing a lot of damage. Slayer putting down some fire. Let's have a look at it from his perspective. This can go either way. We all know pop grenade. If this connects, this is going to be a brilliant, brilliant display by the Team Velocity member over here. The grenade's just a little out of uh, range, not doing a lot of damage. Slayer putting down some fire. Let's have a look at it from his perspective. This can go either way. We all know Slayer is very good in these situations. He can handle himself in these clutch moments, in these 1v4 situations. However, you've got to get credit to Aura. They are going to be trying their best to win this match. They know it's a 3v1 situation. They know there's only one person up top. And here comes the push. I think Stacey's going to be the first one. However, Slayer does take him down. They are coming in from all sides. He takes Jaden down. Slayer versus the last member of Aura Hands. Unfortunately, he had to change his weapon. Brilliant, brilliant display by Slayer, but Aura comes out on top with a massive, massive amount of kills. I think that's 13 kills to their name. She's going to be for Aura to get a few kills. Boom does get one over here. He knows the enemy is right under him. I think Destro is going to take a few shots. Destro desperately trying to heal himself up. Snipes goes down. Evo will go down as well. And Boom will make sure he does get the kill. Unfortunately, the all have gone down and that should be the end of Team Pain. Pain is out of this match. RRQ yeah, in a John very good RRQ position. Guardia mat nikalo, yaar. Anyway, Team 25 right over here. They are in a very strong position. Evos Oro is going to be making it in, but he goes down. Evos is out. Soul is out. RRQ is going to be vying for the top spot in this game. Hawkeye is still alive and kicking. Unfortunately, he did get knocked. Yeah, he is going to be out yeah, because... Uh, his teammates were nowhere close. And the ladies are making their way into the zone right now. They are going to be heading out right over here. That car barely missing the teammate. Team 9 is coming in from behind. And Team 18 does have a good spot over here. The ladies need to be a bit careful. I do apologize for the profanity right now. It's I can't really help it. But it is what it is. RRQ is putting on a lot of hurt. Team C goes down to the zone. And Fox Motion is taken down by Onyx Sky. I want to keep an eye out over here. Zan Zan putting on a little bit of shots on Onyx Matthew trying to get a few damage done. And Matthew, in fact, what just happened? Did you guys see that? Unfortunately, Catalea blew up the vehicle for cover. Zan Zan was right next to her and she got knocked. However, nobody is paying attention to them, so it should be all good about now. RRQ does have a good position, basically in the center of the zone. So they have a nice uh, 360 degree angle all around them. Up top over here, Austin X is opening up. However, Ken Boo from behind takes a few shots. Let's have a look at what we can see over here. The ladies have put themselves in a bit of a hot spot. They really don't have a lot of uh, maneuvering space right now. But their teammate is coming in to join them. I'm going to be focusing over here. Ken Boo with that SKS and that 8X doing a lot of damage. Five teams remaining. There seems to be a gun battle going on right over there. Let's see where Onyx, Nick is doing. They do have the ladies in their side. And Oman gets taken down. Trying to run into the, in the background. 
team W. Catalea is going to be frantically trying to pick a teammates up. And as I say that, they put down Catalea again. The last one standing. What is going to happen over here? And on it comes out with a victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. It is a 1v1 situation as far as teams are concerned. Four members of each team alive. RRQ versus Onik. Let's just quickly have a look at their stats. Team 18, Onik, Matthew, EXE, Sky and Nick with an impressive eight kills to their names. And RRQ with just uh, three more than them with a total of 11. fact that RRQ and uh, Onik are both on opposite ends of the zone. So none of them have to actually move out. And Kenbu gets a few shots on Sky, knocking him down with that beautiful headshot towards the end. However, that is all that he can do right about now. It is going to be a waiting game, guys. It all depends on where this game goes. Both these teams are not shy to be aggressive. Nick has spotted Kenbu. We is trying to get a few shots off on him. Unfortunately, only a couple hit. And both teams will go back undercover at this point and if you look closely drawn and Boonk are making their way up Kenbu doing a brilliant job of uh, keeping all the attention on him but again in the next few seconds we're going to find out where the zone is going to go and who is the pressure going to be on Boonk with two grenades thinking that the enemy is nearby team 18 do have a slight advantage at this point they do have the height they do have the zone RRQ does have to make their way into the zone and EXC takes down Kenbu. Kenbu knocked right over here behind us, right under me. EXC, let's have a look at what he sees over here. He is going to finish Kenbu, make sure that that job is done. And smoke's flying out. However, that is not going to be good enough. This makes it a 3v4 situation and Warren, Boonk and John are finding themselves in a bit of a pickle. They are very, very open. They only have a few smokes between them right over here and his teammate Drawn is moving up on the buggy. That buggy is right next to the tree. It is going to provide cover. Drawn with a few shots into the smoke. He gets a few shots on the EXE and he takes him down. Brilliant work over here. Drawn is definitely going to go hard. This nade can actually do a lot of damage over here. It is right next to Drawn. Takes away half his HP. Nick is going to be coming in to pick his teammate up. That grenade not missing its uh, target. Matthew going on a flank over here. This is going to be interesting. He might just get into a very good position. It's a 3v3 situation now. EXC has finally gone down. Matthew is in a good, good flight. And this guy said that. Pook, I think, might still have an idea. He's being extra careful. He takes a few shots. Good reaction time. However, Sky takes him down. He could not uh, do enough. But shooting at him. This is when Matthew is going to come in and... Shot, but he's made up. He does take out Warring and just like that, Onik come out with the victory. And I'm reading something in the chat. Ryzen Surya says Onik will win. And there you go, buddy.